It's the first weekend in May, and the BOB Collective are heading into Nimbin for the annual May Day rally known as Mardi Gras. Nimbin is a small village in the Northern Rivers area of New South Wales, known for supplementing its local economy with a trade in cannabis and cannabis-related contraband. Since Nimbin's conception in 1973, its ubiquitous drug culture has been accompanied by a prevalent community-based public creativity. Colourful, vibrant and politically motivated, art, music, poetry, craft and fashion adorn awnings and shop fronts in the main street, setting the scene for grassroots political discourse and the opposal of radical social philosophies. In March 1993, New South Wales Police conducted a raid on local dealers that resulted in a physical altercation and ensuring public uproar. The Nimbin Mardi Gras Festival was born. Yeah, as you can see from the parade, a lot of uh, diverse crowd here we got today at the Nibbin Mardi Gras. Just saw Darren Hinch walk past. A lot of cook people. A lot of normal people. It's definitely an interesting group. This is the annual parade that they have. As the festivities began to take momentum on Cullen Street, we set out on a mission to talk to Nibbin locals and festival goers about their views on cannabis and cannabis law reform. In our travels, we ran into Darren Hinch an Australian senator for Victoria whose public and outspoken views on cannabis, specifically that of providing amnesty for medicinal patients and their carers, has sparked recent parliamentary debate. I, I, was, I came last year uh, when I was campaigning to run for the Senate and I said, well, I'll come back next year, I promise I'll come back next year if I get elected or if I don't get elected. So luckily I did and now here I am. I've been pushing on the, the last story I ever did actually before I jumped the shark and got into politics was for the Sunday night program on medicinal uh, marijuana and cannabis oil. It is criminal, but it should not be criminal that mothers trying to stop spasming babies are threatened with jail because uh, they've been getting cannabis oil from an illegal source. And the first thing they should all be doing in all the states, because of what's happened in Victoria, they should now have an amnesty on all people who are growing um, marijuana for medicinal purposes. I couldn't help but notice the imposing police presence dispersed throughout the locality. Juxtaposed to the relaxed and perceivably friendly attitude of the locals and festival goers, their heavy presence brought with them an unwelcome sense of Mardi austerity. Mardi Gras this year, 25th anniversary, 2017. It's been great. It's um, really, really happy that so many people have come. The generations now are, are really mingling on this issue, whether it's food, medical, industrial, recreational uses of cannabis. So we have to start asking the right questions of our politicians, not why it should be legalised, but why isn't it? With the clock nearing 4.20, the motley crew of festival goers were buzzing with excitement. The sheer diversity within the crowd was mind-blowing. There's something really special about seeing people from all walks of life unify to fight for a worthy cause. It's 4.20 in Nimbin on Mardi Gras 2017. So this is the first one. First one in 30 years? Yeah. So very straight. Oh my god. <laughs> Unlike the usual jaunt to your local nightclub or pub, the attitude of the festival was distinctly calm and peaceful. There was no violence, aggression, or even an arrest, leading us to ask the question as to whether all that police presence was really necessary. I mean, I was a special guest of the Mardi Gras in 1996 and it changed my life so much that now I'm sitting here covered in hair. Look at me. I mean, there I was, I was a slim hip recreational cannabis user, not abuser, and but no, I've turned into an old hippie, thanks to Nimbin and the Mardi Gras. We've just had, I don't know, 10,000 people come to this legalised cannabis world that we actually live in here. You know? There's more of us than there are of the police. We all live with cannabis in our life. We eat it, we smoke it, we rub it on the outside of our bodies when we've got a sore shoulder. Mardi Gras is a thing that you have to come to and experience. You can watch all the movie you like about it, but until you get here and smell the Mardi Gras, it's actually already legal in the minds of the people in Nimbin, and we need to spread that around the rest of Australia because they're all behind. With alcohol and tobacco being such a large-scale problem in our society, the Mardi Gras aims to shed light on the fact that cannabis really isn't the evil devil sitting on our shoulder that we were all brought up to believe. And in the end, made me ask the age-old question, who are we actually hurting? <laughs>